this soda swarm, you know what it is. Blue and yellow, blue and yellow, blue and yellow, blue and yellow. Minnesota swarm, you know what it is. Every time they do it, they do it big. Minnesota swarm, you know what it is. Blue and yellow, blue and yellow, blue and yellow, blue and yellow. Step up in the stadium. The blue and yellow, who's the fella that be cradling the cranium? The beat is hot, however you want to render. I'm at the X shouting, who's the goaltender? Shout out to the SPT. If you want my number, you can talk to me. And I, I may look young, but actually I'm 23. And I'll even get the professor to vouch for me. Hey, it's hockey with balls and no ice. And what we need is less talk and more fights. Calm down, it's just a joke, but the swarm's not. If you're not dancing, move around on your floor spot. Minnesota Swarm, you know what it is. Every time they do it, they do it big. Minnesota Swarm, you know what it is. The way yellow, the way yellow, the way yellow, the way yellow. That's why So the final Toyota postgame report of the year, and Linesy, um, I've seen you down, and when things end, there's, uh, it's, it's, it's the finality of it is, uh, is really shocking. Yeah, it is. I mean, I think the way, the way it ended was more shocking than anything else. We uh, came out held the first half really well. Um, you know, we, we stuck to a plan, and you know, we gave up a couple of soft ones at the end of the half, I think, which didn't help, but we were still tied at the half. You know, it's still anybody's ball game, and... You know, credit to Washington. They're, they're the defending champs. They're the champs for a reason, right? Until they lose, they're still the champs. You know, and they they, uh, they put on a good show in the second half. They stepped it up and did a lot of the little things that we didn't do. You know, they they pushed a little bit harder than we did, and um, you know, the results were the result of it. And at 5-1, you figure you're rolling. You knew that you weren't going to run away from this team, but then when you look back statistically to think that you were outscored 13-3 to from that 5-1 point on. Oh, like I say, it's the third time we've played these guys this year, and it's been a game of runs, our team, their team, their, you know, it goes back and forth, I and mean, that's what lacrosse is, it's a game of runs. And uh, we never answered their run. You know, we, we couldn't we, we couldn't answer a run. You know, I mean, we went two for 30 shooting in the second half. You know, and that's not going to win anything. You know, and um, their goalie played well, but he wasn't great. You know, he you know he made, he made saves, but we shot terrible. We hit him in the stomach every shot. We didn't shoot well, and um, it's when you go two for 30 and you can't get a goal to you know break one of their runs, that's what happens. You were thinking before the game, the number that you were going to need to win. Talk about that. I figured we needed 12 goals to win this game, and I think I mean what the final was 14, 14, 8. You know, get rid of the last couple goals because you know we're, we're pushing and pressing and this and that. I mean, it's whatever. But I mean, 12 goals would have won us this game, and we were at six at the half. You know, we were on pace to hit the magic number we were hoping to hit. And um, we never, like I said earlier, we never got on a run. We couldn't uh, put the ball in the net. We, you know, missed some chances and took foolish shots at times, you know. And then, like I say, it comes down to the little things. And, you know, I mean, at this point of the year, I think, I mean, we, we talked about this with the team. At this point of the year, it's not X's and O's. We, I mean, we played these guys we know. They didn't do a thing to, tonight that we weren't expecting. You know, it's like they came out with something magical. And, could encounter. I mean, we knew what was going on, and they knew us. You know, um, at, the, at this point of the season, or at any point, more so at the end of the year, I guess it's probably 80% mental. And they, you know, were mentally stronger than we were tonight, and the result was what we see. So, at some point, you'll be able to look back and get a different perspective on the season. Um, the wound is still fresh right now, but think about the year. Think about an 8-8 eight eight record. Think about a uh, home playoff game. Some of the good things. You get the Bash brothers. You get Benny. Um, I'd like to talk to you later on about that, but what are your thoughts now about some of the successes of this year? Oh, I mean, it was it was great to see you know Ryan have a super season this year. I mean, we said it all year. What he he got, he deserved. He worked hard. You know, he didn't put the ball in the net tonight. I mean, it's not for lack of trying. He, you know, he worked as hard as he does every night. He just the ball wasn't falling for him tonight. Um, you know, Nick Nick had a great year also in that. I mean, he carried us through a lot of games this year. May not have been his greatest game tonight, but I mean, you know, it wasn't terrible. It's not his fault by any stretch of the imagination. You know, we. Had some young guys like Matt Kelly stepped up and you know went from you know nowhere to be seen at the beginning of the year, just sort of a guy at training camp, to playing the last five games of the season and playing great. You know, I mean, so I mean, there's 
there's definitely some positives to be brought out of this, but there's, you know, there's things that we need to change, obviously, to move forward and instead of just being a playoff team and being satisfied with that. You know, we, we got to make changes to be able to be one of the elite teams that we're try, striving to be. So last uh, last chance for you and I to talk about this um, con <coughs> conclusion of the season. Uh, only one team is going to be happy at the end of this, and um, it's not going to be the Swarm this year. No, not this year. I mean, that's, you know, it's it's not going to be us this year. I mean, we can take a sitter that we can take some positives out of this, but there's, you know, negatives that we, we need to look at and address. You know, I think we... we Addressed a lot of our issues in the off season, but we didn't. Uh, well, we didn't do enough to get over the hump. Obviously, you know we, you know we made some changes, the you know personnel changes, and you know a lot of it was positive. But there's still something that needs to be done or accomplished in order for us to make that next step, which we're trying to do. Lindsay, thank you for a great year. Your stand-up guy on the Toyota post-game report. Balls and no ice and what we need is less talk and more fights <laughs> calm down it's just a joke but the swarm's not if you're not dancing move around on your floor spot minnesota swarm you know what it is every time they do it they do it big minnesota swarm you know what it is the way yellow the way yellow the way yellow the way yellow minnesota swarm you know what it is